Hi everyone. So today I want to talk about the list of fastest growing functions ranking. So as you know, I have already made two videos, I think, about big numbers ranking. So today I want to talk about slightly something slightly different, which is the ranking of the fastest growing functions, uh, kind of using the fast growing hierarchy, the FGH. And um, so of course we're gonna first start from the slowest growing function to the fastest growing function. So first of all, we're gonna look at F0n using the uh, fast growing hierarchy, which is basically equal to n plus one, which is counting or addition. And a disclaimer is that this is not the slowest growing function. There are functions grow slower than that, but we're not gonna cover that in this video. So let's continue. Next, number two, we have f1 of n, which is equal to n plus n, which is equal to 2n. And as you can see, this is basically multiplication, which is repeated addition. As, and as you can see the pattern here, the next level is basically the iteration of the previous level. So next, number three, we have f2 of n, which is equal to two to the power of n times n. And this is greater than two arrow n or two to the power of n, which is of course exponentiation. And um, this is probably the fastest growing function we're gonna use in daily life, which is basically level three in here. And there are a few functions over here that is also uh, within this level f2n, which is of course n square, n cube, or n to the fourth, or n to the fifth, fifth, or n to the sixth. And also the factorial function, n factorial, and also n to the n. And uh, even though they all belong to this group, but as you know, n to the n grows faster than n factorial, which on the other hand grows faster than n square or n cube. So next, level four, we have f3n, which is greater than two double arrow n. So as you can see, we add one more arrow over here, which means repeated exponentiation. And as you know, this is called tetration, which is two to the two to the two da 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 with n levels. And another function which belongs to this group or growth rate is the nested factorial, which is basically n factorial, 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 factorial with m number of factorials. Another way to write that will be n factorial m. And this nested factorial grows similar to F3n or tetration. And next, number five, we have F4n, which is greater than two triple arrow n. And this is three arrows, so you kind of know what it means. And uh, one of the example in this group, another example would be the circle notation, which is n in a square. And, or you can say, some people say n in a pentagon, it's the same thing. And it grows at around three arrow or f for n. And next we have f m of n. So basically m here can represent any positive integers here. Uh, for example, grams number or even three, three, and fm of n is greater than two with m minus one arrows n. And next we have f of omega n, and omega, of course, we know that is kind of a um, infinity over here. So f omega n grows faster than any fm n, including uh, f grams number n or f33n. The reason is that, as you can see, f omega n is greater than two with n minus one of arrow n. So as you can see here, the arrow itself is also growing. In here, only n is growing, but m is not. m is just a fixed number. Let's say grams number, it will be grams number minus one. If it's three three, it will be three three minus one. But here, n grows as well. That is why f of omega n grows faster than any f m of n, even if m is 3, 3 or bigger. Anyway, in this group, we have the Ackermann's function and of course the Steinhauer's Moser notation, which is basically 
this one but with n gone so n in an n gone this is n in a pentagon but in this case the number of size or the number of gones is also increasing as well and also the hyper e notation also grows at f omega n and next we have f omega plus one n which is we have the g sequence over here the gram sequence so g2 g3 g4 g64 g65 it will grow at around approximately this rate and next we have f omega square which we have the chain arrow notation and next we have f omega to the omega which we have the extended hyper e notation and also this program over here which is the third place of the loaders function competition so in that competition basically people are trying to find to have a biggest output from a C program which is defined by 212 characters or less and this is the third place finish and next we have f of the epsilon naught n and we have the Goodstein sequence and the Kirby Paris Hydra and also tetrational level of BAF so basically the tetrational BAF is the um, most uh, agreed upon well-defined BAF and anything beyond or above the tetrational level is kind of ill-defined or not very well-defined and we also have this one this is the second place finish of the loaders competition and next we have this one over here um, which is the tree sequence so the tree sequence as a tree three tree four tree five grows faster than any of these over here and next we have the SCG function which of course grows faster than the tree sequence and then next we have the birds array notation um, I, I couldn't find the confirmation of this but I will probably put it in number 14 and then we also have the higher dimensional BEAF and also this hydra over here these uh, all grows faster than SCG and also the tree sequence and then at 15 we actually jumps over here next we have the lotus function which grows even faster than these three over here and then next number 16 we have the finite promise games and the greedy check sequence cheek sequence and this one um some people say is not very well defined i'm not so sure we um, this is not too many info of, uh, about this two sequence over here but it sets from Googleology it grows even faster than the lotus function and remember lotus function is one of the quickest growing computable function and as far as I know these two are also probably still computable even though not much is known about them so therefore which means these two would be probably the biggest computable or fastest growing computable function currently agree maybe in Googleology and then number 17 finally we have finally reached the uncomputable functions of course we have the famous BCB for function the BBN or this notation over here and also the BCB first cousin the maximum shifts function which is the SN over here so BPN or this one over here, it represents the maximum number of ones that are printed on an infinite tape before it halts. And SN over here, it represented maximum number of steps before it halts. So of course, therefore, clearly SN has to be bigger than uh, this one because this is the total number of steps. This is just the total number of ones. And 18, we have the xi function, which has this notation over here. This one grows even faster than the basic BC beaver. Again, everything here beyond um, level 17 is uncomputable. And next, we have the infinite time Turing machine, which is based on the BC beaver. But instead, we have an infinite symbol over here, n. This one at least according to Googleology, it grows even faster than the xi function. And lastly, level 20, we have rails function, of course, rail n. Um, one of the biggest number ever defined is, of course, rails number, which is defined by rails n. 
and one thing to know rails number for small n it doesn't grow very fast in fact i think rails 20 is one and rail probably around 50 is equals to two something like that so for a small integer and rails function grows very very slow but as as it grows bigger and bigger as n grows bigger and bigger it immediately grows extremely extremely fast and eventually it will grow faster than any of the previous function over here same thing for bcp for bcp for one two three four is very slow i think bcp for three is way 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 smaller than three three but as n grows bigger it surpass anything like three three scg is you know if n is big enough it grows faster than that and of course beyond rails function we have we probably have some more uh even faster growing function but those are again not very well defined and even some people will say rails function is not 100 percent well defined it's kind of like at least based on google some people said it's only half well defined but anyway i only include this list until rails function and so this is basically some of the most well-known function ranked in from slowest to quickest so anyway thanks for watching and have a nice day